This is Maui. Maui, which sea stand do you like better? This one's 120 bucks, and this one is 150 bucks. Pick. He doesn't like sea stands. Okay, this is Kona. She's, she's a better filmmaker than Maui. Pick a sea stand, Kona. Which one do you like better? Ooh, she likes the impact. So we have two C-stands here. One is the brand from Adorama and one is the brand of B&H Photo Video. We've got the Impact and the Flashpoint. C-stands are a little bit more than a $150 light stand. You can also mount microphones and cameras to them in a lot of different configurations. For instance, if I need an overhead camera shot, I can mount this horizontally and just rise this up. There. There, now I have a quarter 20 mount directly above my head that I could point straight down. So I could mount a uh, GoPro ball head to it or something, or I can drop a shotgun microphone onto it and just point it right at my face. It's like a light stand, mic stand, boom stand, heavy duty stand. You can also use them to mount backdrops and different things. Uh, they're super heavy. They're much heavier than a regular light stands. If you have a regular light stand and you've got like a light dome on it or some other modifier onto a, uh, you know, one of your lights, and it keeps tipping over, you should probably get a C-stand. The regular cheapo light stands that I get off of Amazon or eBay or whatever, they break after like six months to a year of using them. Um, I've never broken a C-stand. They're definitely way more durable than regular light stands and they're a worthy investment if you intend on making a lot of videos. Flashpoint is Adorama's brand and Impact is B&H Photo's brand. The Flashpoint one is about 120 and the Impact one is about 150 bucks and they're, they're pretty similar. Yeah, they're both C-stands, and they're both about 30 pounds, and they'll hold about 25 pounds of weight. The Flashpoint one, though, is about 30 bucks cheaper, and it comes with an additional piece. They both come with two gobo heads and an additional uh, grip arm. On the Flashpoint one, you've got an additional baby pin, though, which is really useful if you're mounting lights. Also on the Flashpoint one, which is Adorama's, is we've got this nice little padded grip, which makes it easier to grab, and it's softer as opposed to the impact brand, it's just all solid metal. On the Flashpoint C-Stand, they're also spring cushioned. So you're less likely to crush your hand, which is kind of nice. It also just makes for a better user experience. As opposed to the impact one from b &H, it just kind of crashes down. No air cushion, no spring cushion. One more advantage to the Flashpoint brand from Adorama is the grip arm will let you mount lights to either end. We've got threads on one end here, and the other end also acts as a light stand with more threads. And the gobo head can be completely removed, or changed, or whatever. So you've got just an arm here. It's very versatile. The impact one does not have that option. The gobo is attached to the grip head here. You can't move it at all and the other end doesn't have threads or indentations to make it easy to mount lights to it. So that's kind of a bummer. But the Impact brand does have its own advantages. The Impact brand has these little teeth inside the uh, grippy portion of the gobo head that will grab onto your grip arms a lot easier uh, and so they can't rotate. So if you mount something horizontally off of it, it will, it's less likely to spin because it's got those teeth that grip into it. Also the handles all over the Impact brand stuff are a lot bigger and easier to grab and turn. It's also a few pounds heavier and will support a few more pounds of weight. And the locking mechanism on the bottom is just a little bit better. You have to pull to release it and then you can spin the uh, feet. So I like the locking mechanism a little bit better on the Impact brand. Adorama Flashpoint brand locking mechanism is just like some detents. There, there's kind of detent and lock in. So if I were to pick one uh, for the money, I like the Flashpoint one for indoors because it's got this foam padded grip that makes it easy to grab onto. And also the springs are just kind of, in, the spring cushioning is kind of a nice convenience. But I'd be worried about the Flashpoint foam grip if you were to use it outdoors often, it'd probably get weathered and uh, tore up just like any foam thing would. And for the Impact one, I'd probably want to use that one if I was beating up my gear and using it harder, like taking it outdoors and throwing it into a car more often. It seems a little bit more durable, although it has less stuff that comes with it. Um, it seems like it probably lasts longer. So 
for the value, they're both great. I'll have links to both of these in the description of this video if you want to get either one. Uh, personally, I have one impact and two Flashpoint C stands. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. How much do you think this one costs? $300, $400. Really? Yeah. That's a lot. How much do you think this one costs? Uh, like... 400 300 Okay, now this one is $120 and this one is $150. I got close. You got close, all right. I thought you were gonna be like blown away with how expensive they are. No, I thought they were gonna be more expensive. Oh, well, yeah, see, these are a pretty good deal, huh? Yeah. There you go, affiliate links in the description.